The many lies of Hulk Hogan. You said, man code, I would never break the man code. I would never bang another guy's wife. Number two, he tried to convince Vince McMahon that The Undertaker broke his neck because he was scared of The Undertaker replacing him. Number three, I discovered blank. You could fill this in with any wrestler. He'll say he discovered them. The worst one is Kevin Owens, though. Kevin Owens worked his ass off on the indies, and Hogan's just like, Well, brother, I discovered him in his second match on NXT, brother. And I do not use steroids. Number five, he was not the first person to slam Andre. That actually goes to Strong Kobayashi, and it was a staggering eight years before Hogan. Hogan also claimed that Andre weighed 600 pounds, and it broke his back. Oh my god, my back! I can't move my back! Neither of which are true. Andre weighed around 450, and Hogan could not have broken his back considering he can hit a goddamn leg drop. He claimed he came up with the NWO and not Eric Bischoff. He said the original members were him, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, aka the Booty Man. Booty! Booty! and the Nasty Boys. Came to have wrestled 400 days in one year because he went to Japan and the US back and forth a lot and he was supposed to play bass for Metallica. He said that Mike Tyson was scared to fight him. He was supposed to fight in UFC, but didn't because the ref don't prevent people from being beaten up after the bell rings? Says Elvis was a total Hulkamaniac, even though he died the same year Hogan started wrestling. The worst one is probably when Hogan lied about getting a Make-A-Wish Kid tickets for SummerSlam 92 because Hulk was performing and he was a huge fan, even though Hulk wasn't on the card and he wasn't even in the UK at the time. It's just such a f***ed up thing to lie about. Claimed he was on a flight with Carrie Von Erich 72 hours before he ended his life. Claimed to have gotten a .714 in Little League, which is like, why would you even brag about Little League? He's claimed to have been scouted by the Yankees and the Reds. Which is all the weirder considering Randy Savage was actually signed to the Reds at one point for, as a catcher before he started wrestling. Hogan claimed Hatsumi Fujinami just started beating the f*** out of him one time. He claims that he was the person to come up with walking out to music in wrestling matches. But this is blatantly not true. Gorgeous George, a real innovator, is the one who first came up with it. Hogan claimed to have fought Pride fighters, no not that kind, 20 years before Pride was formed. I think at the end of the day, what we can learn from this is not to trust Hulk Hogan or anything that he says, but who we can trust? Billy Mitchell. That dude never lies. Stop.